Hello, um, we're gonna have a quick talk about PAL and TSC TV systems, the old TV systems. We are all on digital now and uh, what your options are uh, in terms of playing an import console that's not compatible with your screen. So here I have a PAL Atari 2600 and as soon as I connect uh, to my TV, I see a uh, rolling picture. Um, that's due to the um, fact that this TV can support NTSC, but not PAL. And uh, the difference is uh, one is 60 hertz, one is 50 hertz. And back when um, airwaves, TV airwaves um, came about, engineers um, found a way to um, encode, you know, the picture, the color, the sound uh, in those waves. And they came up with different methods. And, and the main two ones are the um, 110, 60 hertz countries using NTSC and the 220 volt, 50 hertz us users, uh, countries using PAL. So if you have a picture like this, um, you have a couple options. Um, one, uh, try to, I mean, obviously having a multi-system TV um, is really good. Um, it's a good investment, especially if you're collecting retro consoles and some of them are imports. Um, this is a Sharp, of course, it's an old LCD TV and it does support um, multiple systems. Um, there are a couple, you know, other models you can research in North America. Um, they support um, different video uh, signals. Um, however, um, these systems are not uh, supported for every input. So I connected this in um, via RF. And the RF can only except NTSC 358, PAL M, PAL N, and that's it. So those are my only options. And with PAL N, it uses same, um, I believe frequency as NTSC, but the color and sound are encoded or modulated differently. So it cannot uh, decode or demodulate the, um, color and the sound. So here, let me turn on the sound. You'll see. Um, I'm going to exit here. As you can hear, it's all static because TV is looking at the wrong place for color and um, the sound information. So um, this TV supports uh, multi-system in AV input. So one thing you can do is AV mod. Or if your console already has AV, that's great. You can do that. Um, if you don't have an AV mod or if you don't want to do AV mod, uh, one option is to use something like this. This is RF to AV converter from AliExpress. Its antenna input is actually European style. So this is perfect for PAL and I can connected here um, and if I switch my input and then change the video so it's NTSC NTSC 443 is a substandard PAL oh that looks promising and Paul M again Paul N Sekam Paul 60 we're get to that we'll get to that it's it's another substandard and all right no static so yeah we do have sound okay um so this is a good solution to have an av mod by the way if you only have um rf output um it's this box is basically a simple TV receiver 
uh, with no screen. It has a demodulator in it and it supports all the PALs. Um, I have not tried NTSC since it's from China. It might be just PAL, I don't know. Uh, it says analog TV receiver on it. Um, that's one option or another option if you um, if you have um, maybe NTSC console uh, that I want to that you want to use to um, convert RF to AV um, here's another option similar box but this one converts RF to VGA uh, VGA is not a TV standard. It does not have PAL, NTSC, anything like that. I'm gonna turn off the TV and turn on the monitor. And, oh, turn on the box. I already set these up, by the way. You have to scan the channels just like you set up a TV. And then here we go. This is a Dell monitor. Um, it has, no demodulator it's not a tv it does not know what pal or ntsc is um, this box does the decoding uh demodulating the pal signal and it just converts to you know analog rgb uh that can um uh, you know uh, go out through this uh, vga port um i mean obviously these things might add uh, lag um, you're still not having the full you know the console original console experience um, um, you know these these games designed so that you, you have the reflex um, you know uh, very good reflexes so the games are really fast um, you know you're supposed to play on CRT TV with uh, no adapters in between so everything you add in between adds a little bit um, so that's another option. And we have um, converter option over here. So whether you are in PAL country and have NTSC console or NTSC country uh, have PAL console, and this adapter converts either, in this case, the Atari 2600, comes in here this box will convert this to composite and then this box will oh, oh this is output so this pal and ntsc is not for these this is output this is input so atari is going to be here as input and then this is the output i'm going to connect this to the back of sharp tv and then i'm gonna pretend that the sharp cannot do pal so we are going to test that out So if I turn on, and I'm going to turn off the other box, and connect this to here, so we have a picture, so, oh, here we go. Oh, we got something and we lost. So this works. So we are on NTSC, I believe. Nope, we are still on PAL. That's not the intended. So we are going to change this to NTSC. So we have an NTSC TV and we have a PAL machine. Here we go. I had to um change the switch there's a little switch 
you have to choose the output signal type, in this case, NTSC. And we have an NTSC signal. So if you have an NTSC TV with no PAL um, decoding op uh, option, uh, you can use one of these or vice versa. If you have a NTSC console on a PAL TV, uh, you can use this. And it also generates a uh, signal itself. So if you're not sure, like you're not getting a picture, if you're not sure if it's the console or the box, you can actually, if you disconnect the input, it will generate a test signal. And as you can also see, this thing is not very reliable. It sometimes uses a loser signal and there's a delay. Like when I disconnect this, I see like a split second, still see the picture. So I believe this also adds to the lag. Here is a NTSC console. Let's assume you're in a PAL, PAL country and someone sent you this uh, NTSC cheap console or you bought it. Oh, it's not working on my PAL TV. Um, again, if you can't switch the systems, then you need to use this little converter. Here we go. So, color system PAL. We pretend this is a PAL TV and this is an NTSC console. Um, and there you go. So, it works both ways. Um, this little converter box. And lastly, what happens if you put a NTSC game on a PAL console? Here is a PAL console, PAL game on a PAL screen. And I have an NTSC game. I'm just gonna put it in and it's going to roll. I see some colors though. So it's weird. Why is this happening? I see color, picture, and no noise normally i would hear static um and it's just rolling so in this case the pal machine um sends the i i believe correct pal um you know signals to the tv uh but the game itself uh wants to run on um 60 hertz um that's my theory at least so um in that case if your tv supports it you need to go to select that Frankenstein color system. So PAL is normally 50 hertz, but there is a 60 hertz PAL here, PAL 60. Isn't that weird? But apparently for these kind of situations, it's perfect. So this is PAL 60. Yeah, that's about it. That sums it up. So if you have a different import console, um, either invest in a um, good old TV that supports multi-system um, or try one of those um, converters um, that I, I uh, demonstrated. Thank you.